and I play red. Today is going to be a bit of a weird one. Um, I'm kind of breaking two of my non-written rules for the channel. The game I'm looking at today is quite a lightweight game and I'm looking at it because of its theme. See, unwritten rules all out the window. Today we are looking at suffrage votes for women. As I said, this is a lighter card game, but for obvious reasons, the theme really appealed to me. So let's have a look at how it plays. Suffrage Votes for Women is a card driven game that plays between two to six players in around 30 minutes. Players will take on characters of prominent suffragettes, um, some of whom you will have heard of, some of whom are new and interesting. So let's have a look at all of these characters. Now, they don't have different abilities or anything, um, so realistically, it doesn't matter too much who you decide to play. The associated cards of each of the characters in play will go into the main action deck and we'll have a look at that when they come up. But each of these cards has got a little bit about each of these women. Um, and obviously you can go away and Google and find out loads more, which might be what I've done. So I'm going to take Emmeline Pankhurst um, as my character for this game. Here we have the MP deck, which represents the voting system. So we have yeses and nos. So those are going to go into the deck and be shuffled up. In your turn, you're going to take a card from the middle row and do the action. That simple. We have here these four different colours of suffragettes, all of whom represent the different groups that were fighting for votes for women. So we have blue that represents the upper class, the purple that represent the militant suffragettes, Red are the working class and green are your law abiding suffragettes. Realistically, there's no difference between the four of them except for how you gain them. Once you have 10 supporters, you can call a vote in Parliament. So we'll have a look at that in a minute. I'm going to start the game by choosing one token i am going to take a uh, red obviously so in my turn i'm going to take a card so let's have a look i am oh that's quite mean i'm going to take the mud march 1907 now if you see this has got a plus two and a minus oh no i don't want that one do i oh I'm going to take this one. Um, agitation suffragette methods. So this has a plus one in purple and a minus two in green. And what I'm going to do is turn over the number of cards shown. So plus one purple. Now there's actually two at the bottom here, which means I get to take two purple suffragettes. The minus two here, I have no green, so I can't lose any, so I'm not going to take that action. However, all other players are minus one on green, so I'm going to turn over the top, and all other players would have to lose one green suffragette. I've now played that card, it goes in the discard, and I refill the row, and play will continue. There are a couple of cards with slightly more special actions. The protest campaign here has this clock symbol. Now, when they come into play, 
these are more long-term actions. So if I were to take this campaign, it would sit by the side of my character card for a turn, and then next turn, I could do this action. There's also a different type of special card, the campaign card that shows the fist here. Now, again, these will sit just by the side of your character and the action on this will occur at the appropriate time. So this one, play when conducting a march action, double the win number. So earlier when I took the two, in this case, if I'd used this card, I'd have got four. So you use these once and then discard them. Every other card you play as soon as you take it. So, oh, now this card here, I don't know how we're going to see it because it's white on yellow, is actually related to my character. So that means that only I can take it um, because Emmeline Pankhurst was in fact the leader of the WSPU. Um, which is the Women's Social and Political Union. So I can take this. This is plus three on purple. So let's take three cards. One, two, three. Oops, upside down. And I'd gain one, two, three, four. Purples, one, two, three, four. Um, I haven't got any green, so I don't have to do this green action. But then all other players are going to gain purple. So if I do that, all other players will get one purple. Also, here we go. This is a lovely example. Some of the more militant actions, like this one, Smash Windows, will get you arrested, obviously. If you're arrested, you take the action as normal. And then you're going to flip your card over and miss your next turn. Usually, these actions are quite strong. That one's not. Um, some of the others I know we've seen are quite strong actions. So you're kind of losing a turn, but you're gaining more. Now let's have a look. How many subjects have I got? Three, six, seven. I, oh look, suddenly I have 10. Now, because I have 10 supporters, I can call a vote in Parliament which is going to use this MP deck. So I'm going to draw one card for each supporter I have. So I have 10. So no, yes, yes, no, that's four, oh, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, to win the game, you're going to need 10 yes votes. I've actually got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. However, this card here discounts one of my yes votes. So I've actually only got six, so the vote would fail. I'd lose a supporter, pop these back into the deck, the MP deck, shuffle it back up and play would move to the next person so in this mp deck we have these yeses that count as two yes votes we have standard no votes we have standard yes votes and we then have some no votes that count against a yes now, all of these have actually got um, people's names on the bottom. Um, I think these are actually the MPs of the time, and I'm hoping this is how they actually voted. Um, so that's something I'm going to go away and have a look at. But this is, that's the MP deck. Um, if you have 10 yes votes, the vote passes. So that is how voting works, and that is how you win the game. My vote didn't pass. I'm now back to nine supporters. So I need to look at getting more supporters before I can do another vote. 
so let's have a look see this is my i've only got one green to lose so that's not so bad here we are hatchet attack this is nice so plus three on purple one two three um i get three purple supporters one two three and then minus three on green and i've actually got green this time so one two oh goodness so if i had five green i'd have lost five green but i only have one so i lose one and i'm arrested so i'd flip that over miss my next turn like i said at the start of this video um suffrage is actually a much lighter game um than i'd normally look at it's also very luck driven however obviously it's a theme i feel pretty passionate about um there's also um fort circle games have got a game coming out um in the near future i think called votes for women um this is from Athena Spell. I think they're a Swedish company, if I remember rightly. Um, this would be a great game to play with the family, with children. Um, there's loads of information on here that you can go away and look up and find out more about all of these characters that are shown on the front here. I wish there was a bit more information in this rule book um we've we've googled loads of stuff um because of this though and that's good and that's what we like is getting people talking about these things um there was actually two games made in the really early 1900s before these events um about votes for women so now we're going to be on a desperate hunt for them. I think they were made in like 1908 and 1910. Um, so we may not be that successful. Um, but have a look. Um, they're a small publisher, Athena Spell. So I don't know how available it's going to be in your country. Check it out. It's a really neat little simple card game that is going to teach your children stuff. Well, and your adults. We've learned stuff. Um, have a look. Thanks for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Come and say hello on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. I play red. See you next time. Bye.